This is the moment y'all have been waiting for. I don't click away now. Stay tuned, because I'm going to give you an idle. I'm going to give you a couple of revs. And I'm going to give you a what it sounds like while we're riding it. So we just got this fabbed up, and it looks really, really, really nice. I really like it. And I've already heard it. And it sounds amazing. I have to say, this is one of the best exhausts that I've done. The two that I like out of all the ones that I've done is the dual exhaust and this one. They all have their specific sounds and they all sound great. But those are the two of my favorites. Now, without further ado, let's check this thing out. If you didn't have a pair of decent headphones on, put them in and go back and watch this thing. Because it ain't going to sound the way that it does here in person on your phone speaker or your laptop speaker. So let's take it over to Nick's house and go for a ride.
listen, you got to do me a favor. Go down, click that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed, guys. I have some things planned for this. I think I got my fingertips on it. So, you're going to want to stay tuned for that. And uh, did I mention get subscribed? I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I was super excited when I thought this idea up yesterday. And I'm glad I did it. Because I'm going to be completely honest with you. I thought I was going to try this and not like it. But I ended up liking it. I really thought I was going to try this, not like it, and go back to the duels. But I ended up liking it. She's here to stay. And I think this will be the last exhaust on the 800 EX. Now I've been talking with somebody, got them in my DMs. Their 950 is gonna come home with me during the October ride. So their 950 is coming home with me and I'm gonna hook him up with the baddest exhaust you ever did see on a Z-Force 950. So that's in October. And he's gonna let me have it for a week or so. And then when it's ready, he's gonna drive down here from where he lives and pick it up. So, I got some haters in the groups. When I posted that post, they said, why would, why would we pay for materials and let you do it and make money on our machine? I wanna clear it up. I don't get rich off YouTube. If I got rich off of YouTube, I would not have this uniform on. I would have a full on redneck garage uniform on and Ronnie would be my camera guy full time. So let's clear that up right now. I don't do this for the money. I do it because it's a hobby and I'm gonna be completely honest with you. You can ask my wife. This is the only hobby I've stuck with so long. Normally, I find something, I do it for like a year, and then I find something else because I get bored with it. Well, the best thing about this hobby is I can do something, then I can find something else to do. Then I can find something else to do, and I can continue making videos on what it is that I like to do. So that's why I do it. I don't do this for the money. I don't do this for all the free stuff. And you know what? Yes, I generate some money. And I'm telling you right now, the exhaust video that I would make would not generate me enough money to pay for what I would pay for to do that video. None of these videos make me enough money to put back into my pocket. So I have to do things one step at a time. Sometimes it takes me months to save YouTube money just to do little things like this because you don't get that much money. And if it weren't for Main Street Cycle sending me some of the stuff and helping me out on pricing and and really just helping me out and John Hester helping me out and Oxbeam helping me out and Dino Jet helping me out you guys wouldn't have got to see half of those videos so really they're the ones to thank but also we got to thank you because you're watching you're liking you're commenting you're subscribing and you're growing the channel so I can get more things and I can do more cool stuff and as we grow, things get better and better. So I have plans in my head for the future and I hope it really goes that direction. So I'm working really hard on doing it, guys. Some days I don't get hardly any sleep. Ask my wife, there she is. Ask her, how hard do I work? You do, you work all day then come home and work. Exactly. So there you have it, guys. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching my videos and contributing to the content. And that is kind of the backing be behind me offering a Redneck Garage custom exhaust on a 950 because I've already done a couple of 500s. I've already done a couple of 800s for people. It's 950 time. And then maybe we'll find somebody with a four wheeler and we'll do like an 800 XC or something like that. We'll do like a Redneck Garage custom exhaust or we'll do something custom for one of them guys. And I wanna to continue to do this because it, it gives back to the community from you guys helping me out watching my stuff. So it gives back. You guys know labor's not free and I'm offering free labor. 
you can't get free you can't take your car to the shop and get free labor so i'm offering free labor and these exhausts are cheap this one cost me a hundred dollars not even it was 78 dollars to build this exhaust so that's why i'm saying when i say you pay for materials i'm not asking you to pay 500 dollars or a thousand i'm asking you to simply pay for the materials i'm not even asking for welder money i'm not asking for hourly money just pay for the materials some of these materials might cost you under 200 bucks maybe even under 100 bucks like this when it sounds that good so that's kind of where we're at and i want to thank you guys for watching so make sure you like share and subscribe we'll see you in the next one definitely let me know what you think of the content here lately because i've been really learning and stepping up my game and uh we ain't looking back america's first cf moto youtuber and america's last cf moto youtuber peace out